And we're back after a couple of weeks in Europe, getting recharged. It's simply great to be back in this chair in front of you again. Special thanks to our good friend Mark Bono Bonikowski for doing such a great job filling in. But it, it's been a truly bizarre couple of weeks, hasn't it? I mean, two unbelievably grotesque stories, too gruesome and bizarre to even imagine, are now front and center in the minds of Canadians. The stuff of horror films made real, but just as disturbing the very facts themselves. It's the behavior of, of the average person. I mean, is it? Is the average person clamoring to see that shock video fueled by a morbid fascination at a minimum, with many satisfying their voyeuristic zeal for authentic gore, the real stuff? First, an attack right out of a zombie movie on a Miami underpass. The surveillance video of the attack was up online in the twinkling of an eye. Rudy Eugene apparently hopped up on a new highly dangerous designer drug known as bath salts. Viciously attacking homeless victim Ronald Popo, Eugene gorging on the face of Popo, continuing his attack even after being shot. Not stopping until he was shot dead by police for multiple rounds. But that security cam footage simply wasn't enough for the online voyeur. People wanted to experience all the blood and gore for themselves. I'm showing these grisly pictures to make a simple point. We've pixelated the horrible outcome of this attack, but I assure you, the completely unedited pics of the victim, Ronald Popo, can be found with just a, a few clicks online and lots of people are clicking on. Moving over to the stranger than fiction tale of Luca Rocco Magnata, porn star with romantic links to Canada's first lady of infamy, teen killer Carla Homolka, a caricature of a villain, posting videos of himself torturing and killing kittens online. Striking preposterous poses of himself throughout his sordid history, his Facebook inspirations include Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, Muammar Gaddafi, Joseph Stalin. I mean, go figure. Luca Rocco Magnata, prime suspect in a Montreal murder of 32-year-old Concordia student Jun Lin, a Chinese national, tying up his victim, killing him with an ice pick, cutting up the body and committing sexual acts with a corpse and then shipping the body the body parts, the federal party offices. What is this all about? The, the details of the crime are bad enough. A, a warrant is out for Luca Mignata, manhunt in full force going international, but the video evidence is there for everyone to see. Sharing evidence of his actions with a seedy online underworld. Police have confirmed that a snuff movie posted on the website bestgore.com is video evidence of the crime. Again, the, the video is there for the viewing. One lunatic, one ice pick. The video accessible within a few clicks for anyone with web access. So who's to blame for all this? Are, are the people who scratch that narcissistic itch partly to blame for lustfully clicking into these real-life horrors? It's time for some Canadian common sense. The web certainly did not cause the zombie-like, drug-inspired, face-eating Miami mauling. No one was looking for glory there. And I don't think the web necessarily created the sociopathic tendencies of suspect Luca Magnata, but the attention he received certainly nourished his depraved narcissism. It seems like our society has become completely desensitized. Maybe it was the realistic special effects that seem all too real, that have all of us searching for the truly authentic, turning us into a, a reality TV show society that also loves to be both narcissistic and voyeuristic on Facebook. At the same time, authenticity the highest priority, even if it means looking into the face of death. The online denizens who click into bestgore.com might be at the fringe of the morbidly curious, but the ease of finding the most extreme pictures and videos makes it all too easy to watch stuff you might never have watched before. Luca Magnata's suspected snuff movie garnered hundreds of online comments. Instead of expressing horror and outrage, Comments centered around entirely different kinds of complaints, posting that the, the soundtrack of the murder video wasn't to their liking. They weren't happy with the soundtrack or there wasn't enough blood. That's a complaint. Not enough blood or that the video didn't show the throat slashing of the victim. Very flippant remarks, all in a response to a lengthy video of either an unspeakable crime or one very good fake of an unspeakable crime. The Internet has enabled freedom fighters and repressive regimes to, to mobilize, but it's also allowed the depraved to meet with ease. Whether it's pedophiles swapping pics on Facebook or those in search of authentic murder online, Best Gore, the site we can all be proud of, all be proud to know, 
claims to operate out of Canada, its purpose to give people the truth, giving people the right to, the right to gore. Call it the gore spring, if you will. Folks, we're not exactly ancient Rome yet, with throngs of people filling the Colosseum, demanding the gladiator blood be spilled into the sand, but it certainly feels like we're headed in that direction, doesn't it? I mean, there's a reason that the book and movie series Hunger Games, which outlines a, a game show in which teens are fighting to the death, has become so popular. A, a dystopia that seems just a little bit closer after this week's news. We could well be witnessing the same moral cracks in our society as those that brought down Rome, one of the greatest empires, one of the greatest empires in humanity. And let, let's not forget, this is real life and death unfolding in front of our eyes on TV and on the web. It's not just video games. It's not movie special effects. Real life, real misery. The next time you hear about one of these tragic stories unfolding, please think about the victim. Show some respect. Don't click through to the gory image. You're fueling the collective bloodlust. It could all, well, it could all too easily be you or someone you care about who's the subject of all the gore gawkers. That's Canadian common sense.